If you need some inspiration and motivation, look no further than this young gymnast who has been recognized by some of the sport's premier Olympic athletes. This seven-year-old has gained more than 80,000 followers on Instagram alone. Our Faith Abube traveled to her home gym to see this little gymnast's impressive talent up close. Go, go, go. Tight legs. Come on. Good. Pull, pull, pull. It takes only a moment inside this elite gymnastics training center. Wait. Four. To see that there's something about Delilah. Two and a half. Her Three. focus. Push. There you go. Her drive. Ooh. And she's only seven years Four. old. Come on, last one. I want to be like Suni Lee, Simone Biles. Why? They're just so good. I'm just so happy. And I'm about to cry when I see them. Like happy cry, I guess. Straight, straight, there you go. Her Come coaches on. say this pint-sized athlete Good. could well be on her way to one day joining her decorated 19. world champion heroes. 19, hold L. She stands out. She is a little bit more advanced for a seven-year-old in our gym. So you can always count on her when she goes with your, your team. It's wonderful to see a kid go from barely being able to do a cartwheel and a forward roll to now competing very well and excelling at her level. <laughs> Delilah has placed at every single one of her competitions in the past two years, nice including at this one in March in Florida. What is it like for you as a mom watching her? It's pretty crazy because we don't really sit here and watch her practice. So when we see her at competition, it just wows us. So it makes us really proud to watch her. Nisha McDaniels was so proud of her daughter. Yeah. At the height of the pandemic, when Delilah's gym was closed, she created this Instagram page documenting her daughter's skills, achievements, and workouts. Her growing 85,000 followers can't get enough. We've had some Biles like and comment on posts. The Olympics himself commented on one of her uh, posts and said, we can't wait to see her in the Olympics. It was the craziest thing. Squeeze them. That was it. I remember looking into the audience when I was competing when I was Delilah's age, and my dad would probably be the only person of color there. Jasmine Swinnigan is a former competitive gymnast. Now that I'm judging gymnastics, I'm able to look out into the audience and I'm seeing people of all colors, all sizes, all abilities in the audience. According to the Associated Press, black women account for nearly 10% of the scholarship athletes at the NCAA Division I level, an increase from 7% in 2012, and more than 10% of USA Gymnastics membership self-identify as black. Swinnigan now works with the organization Brown Girls Who Do Gymnastics, hoping to increase participation in the sport among people of color. I think at the lower levels, we're seeing a lot of athletes of color. We're starting to see that kind of trickle up. Just this year, in a remarkable announcement, Fisk University in 2022 became the first historically black college to launch a women's gymnastics team. We're also looking to be kind of a blueprint so that hopefully other HBCUs will follow along and add the sport. Come down straight legs though. Back in Delaware, pointy feet. Delilah is practicing her ropes climbs. Swing and watch your hands scoop. Tumbles and handsprings. That was better. She's just here to have fun. Do you feel fortunate to be in a position to offer this? It's really fortunate of us to be able to afford something like this because she loves it and I wouldn't want to pull her out of it. Jump candle. McDaniel says she's letting Delilah decide how far she wants to take this. Based off of her Instagram, you would think that she practices all the time at home. It's probably about five minutes of doing a video and then she's back to playing with her Barbies. Oh, so she's still a kid at heart. She's still a kid at heart. <laughs> Even more impressive that she can do all that after just watching a five minute video. Our thanks to Faith for that and congratulations to Delilah for all of her success so far. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.